Hello, hello. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. So if you have never watched me before, I am Whitney and I am a pharmacy beauty influencer. And today I am going to create a Yellowstone <laughs> themed kind of look. I want to do all the yellows because uh, this is the weekend for Yellowstone to premiere and uh november the month of november so to me november just screams all the mustard colors you know like dark browns and oranges but i i'm doing the yellow the mustard theme for yellowstone i know our trees right now here in virginia they are uh, at their peak they are so beautiful <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start out with my eyeshadow primer. Our eyeshadow primer is so wonderful. Uh, it just gives this flawless finish. Just uh, really camouflages. If you can see, I have little veins. My lids are thin, and it just covers all of them up. So I just use my finger, and I place it on. Plus, this will... Um, just to track your eyeshadow look, I was drawing a blank just to give it the most coverage. Um, I believe primer is so important, whether it's for your eye. Look at the difference. Uh, whether it's for your eye or your face, because it just fills in everything. Just gives a smooth look. So I'll just put this all over and another thing if you were to have any uh spots or anything like that that you want to uh conceal this makes a perfect spot concealer as well and i won't mention names but some other companies their eyeshadow primer ranges from 20 to 30 dollars and airs is 1090 so just like great prices great products at an affordable price okay so i'm going to be recreate or not recreating creating this yellowstone yet mustard look with my vivid palette so this just launched last month this has such pretty vibrant colors in it so this is what it comes with the box I always keep my boxes because uh, I just feel I can protect them better. I am clumsy. Uh, sometimes my son gets into things and <laughs> it'd be harder for him to, you know, really get in and mess up. So all our eyeshadow palettes, they come with an amazing mirror. And then it has 18 shades. Look at how vibrant. So today I'm going to go in with this sunset. So it's like a orangish yellow. And then for my bottom lid, I'm going to do the sunflower. I may even over in the corner do the Terra Rose. So I'm just doing all things mustard. Mustardy. <laughs> Make a word. <laughs> so anyways, let's see here. Let me get my brushes out. I had a chore cleaning all my brushes where I had done Halloween makeup looks. And gosh, um... Yeah, they were bad. <laughs> okay, so I am going to go in with this Terra Rose, this pretty brownish orange shade right here. And I'm just going to put this out here. Look at that. Just to darken up this outer corner. <laughs> okay, so if you have hooded eyes, you want to go out just a little bit further because see how my okay this just gives it definition and especially like even a wing if i were to go up and do like a normal wing it will end up making it like a nike sign <laughs> or a devil's <laughs> and you know that is not a good thing yeah, not a good look <laughs> so just a little tip if you have some hooded eyes um it helps to just go out create a bigger eye so i'm just 
pulling this out right here. And the other key to eyeshadow is blending, blend, blend, blend. Because you don't want no harsh lines. You want it to look a little bit natural. Just go smoothly. And if you notice, <clears throat> my eyes are shaped a little bit different. So, you know, you got to work with what you got. <laughs> um, sometimes you have to adjust on each eye. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go up in with this sunset now. I want to drag this out here. Just a windshield wiper motion effect. That matches, uh, goes with my dress and stuff really good at sunset. So I don't know if you all are Yellowstone fans, but I know I'm not going to give any details or anything because I don't like spoiling anything. Um, but I will say that last season, I was so traumatized. Uh, it really left me thinking, oh my gosh, what has happened? So I'm kind of nervous about watching the premiere of season four <laughs> to see, you know, uh, what's going to go down because I mean it left with it was like from all sides like you're like oh my gosh what's going on so I'm hoping that it's not one of them that you're on the edge of your seat uh, really tensed <laughs> uh, have you ever watched a movie or even a show that is so tense that when you get done with the show, like your back hurts or you have been in such a position, uh, like you feel like you can't breathe. <laughs> I get really into shows that I like. Like I'm the one that'll go, oh no! <laughs> oh Lordy. I really do like that show. So just windshield wiper effect. And see also, you want to pull it up. I'm gonna relax my eye. See where mine is a little bit hooded. If I were to have just put it right through here, that would have covered it up. So with a hooded eye, you got to go a little bit above where your normal, because your crease is more. See what I'm saying? Gotta go up higher than normal. Um, eye shapes because uh, it you won't see what you've done and this just gives the illusion that you have an eye <laughs> an eyelid I really am look at that yellow I mean it's matching really good so that's the sunset color I'm really loving this vivid palette um, I'm getting a little out of my comfort zone with these bolder shades, but I'm telling you, these greens right here, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I've done dipped into them, the purples I've dipped in. All right. These make wonderful mirrors to look by the like They are huge. I know it's hard to do your makeup just using your phone looking in. It just, I like something up close. Coming together.
Okay. All right. So I'm going to go in with like a flat shader brush. And I'm going to go down here in this sunflower because I want the bottom to pop. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to wet this just a little bit with my setting spray. That is really yellow. I just like to pack that down. Oh, you're hung <laughs> I had my fan on and it's blowing my hair. It was tickling my nose. So this is going to be a fairly simple look. I know the longest part about makeup to me is the eyeshadow because of all the blending. Okay, so I want to add just a little more spazzazz. <laughs> this is our dipped, I think it's the dipped liner, the metallic eyeliner. I love this stuff. Look at how pretty. So it's like liquid gold. So I'm just going to go out here. I just want to let it give a little more gold look. Rip your eyelashes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the double lash extend. I do this backwards. Some people do the lengthening first and the volume last, but I like doing the opposite way. This is the volume part. 
it just adds all that thickness and why I like doing the lengthening because it just like really combs it out whereas when you add the volume I feel sometimes you get more product on because this is a really wet mascara but I love it <clears throat> and I just like this effect last See how it pulls it out. Look at how long. Okay, see the difference? Okay, so I just want a big eye look, so I'm going to put the white eyeliner on the waterline. Look, see the difference how it just like pops that eye? And I go in last, I wait till I get my makeup on, but I will put something on the inner corners and the brow bone. Okay, so next, you always want to go in with a primer so this is our vfx primer the silver tube is more for normal to oily skin we do have a primer the strobe is in a purple tube it is for normal to dry skin so this is a gel where the other one is a cream base so this one will give a matte finish whereas the purple one will give just so like illuminating effect to your skin. This, um, the reason I recommend this is it fills in your fine lines, your pores. It, if you are noticing that your foundation on your skin is laying kind of, it's filling in, like really holding to all your lines, kind of looking like a little caked look, it's because you're not using a primer. I did not realize until I started, um, you know, being a beauty consultant, that primer is a must. Um, this is just so good for you. It, um, you need some primer in your life. Because <laughs> uh, I, I see things now and you're like, oh gosh. <laughs> you know, you realize the difference. So, what I'm going to do, I got a little redness down through here. This is our color correcting primer. This is the one that balances out redness. It's our CC, the green. So I'm just going to put a little bit down here. You do not want to put a color correcting primer all over your face. Just in the places that you are a little red, that you don't want to be red. Okay, so I am going to go in. I haven't used this in a while. I'm going to go in with the VFX Pro foundation. So I am in the shade Cashmere. It's 05. Okay. If I can get it out. Okay, not going to get it out. Must have. I had it laying on its side in this drawer, so it has fell to one side. <laughs> but that's okay. We can do it this way, which is kind of um, 
See, I usually put it out on my hand because I just like seeing them out. I don't like putting it on a brush first. I just don't feel, I don't know, I don't feel it does the best it should. <laughs> so let me find my brush. Okay. So these are our flat top kabuki brushes. They hold little product and they just really buffer down. So this is our full coverage camera ready foundation. I think it's 29 for tax and everything. So, you know, this is compared to some really expensive ones that's 50 and 60 dollars. Just like I call it silk in a jar. It is just so flawless and it literally blurs out lines and everything. So you'll have to rewind the video, go back and look at my skin before I put this on and just see the difference. I should have put it on one side and showed you all. I'll have to do that sometime again. So I'm a natural redhead and I have redness in my skin. So this cashmere has pink undertone. Uh, we also have one that's a biscuit. It's a little bit lighter. And uh, it's for redness too, like red, pink undertones. But we have every shade. We got dark shades. We have light shades, yellow undertones, the whole nine yards. So I'm going to put just a little bit more up here. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. Cause it gets close up to the eye. And for this to be full coverage, it is so, so light. Like, like you don't even feel that it's on. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. That's actually, I just lost my lid. <laughs> I have to get it in a minute. <clears throat> that is actually a little easier to do it that way. So I'm gonna do that again. All right, setting powder. This is our transparent setting powder. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just a second. Okay. Liquid concealer. I am in the Other. I think it is uh, what is the shade in this? Biscuit. And I love how the new wand is just so flexible. So this just really goes on good. This has a plumper in it. So it just really helps your fine lines and wrinkles. And it's smoother. I love the new formula. Look at that. It's just flawless. All right, now transparent setting powder. This just keeps everything from moving. I know it looks really ghosty, but trust the process. It is transparent. And this really helps if you are oily. It keeps that shine from coming through. 
I love the uh, transparent setting powder. All right, next, Time Locker Spray. I know you do this usually at the finish, but this is just a thing that I feel works for me, especially if you might have to go out and wear a mask or whatever. So, before I put on my bronzer and all that, I spray this down and it just holds better for me personally. little tip our lip plumper so it's clear so before I put on my lipstick I put this on plump my lips moisturize it let it sit peach fight palette because i just love these shades these are the brown and gold so i just feel like it's the theme and let me before i forget let me go do the brows i'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> let me find it <laughs> i found it i'm at the very bottom of my brow mascara this is the o2 i think Anyways, look at the difference that your brow makes. Like, it just an instant eye lift. Okay, so go over here. And I really love our pencil, too, but these two are my go-to. Now, if you want a lighter, natural kind of look, just to touch up, our powder is for that. But if you want it to hold and stay... If you were to say, I sweat my brows. I don't know why, but it's something that I do. And when I use this brow mascara or the pencil, either one, it does not budge. So that's why I really love these. My brows have thickened up so much by using that eyebrow and lash capixel serum. Like this is all new growth. I'm going to have to trim it up, but that is... I've been using it for a little over a year now, and it has really helped because I used to have really thin brows, so this has helped tremendously. The hardest part is just trying to get them. You'll never get them just so so unless you're a real perfectionist. As long as you get them somewhat close. That's uh, what I'm aiming for close. <laughs> Alright, just to soften them up, go in with my little spoolie. Okay, so I contour and everything with my bronzer. I sometimes do use this stick contour, but I just love the powder. So look at the difference. It just slims down that jaw. And don't be scared of bronzer. Because it gives definition to the face. You can always blend and lighten it up if it's not how you want it. Okay. 
And then I put, pinch it, drag it down the nose. Okay, now going in with the peach, I just blended that out. I didn't want y'all to have to sit through it. So this is the peach. Just a pretty natural color. I like blush. Okay. So, yeah. See how that just defines, but see it's not too dark. Just gives you a hollow cheek. You don't want to, um, you know, just be a round face. <laughs> want some definition. Okay, now going with my highlighting a highlighter brush so then you can tell I really dipped into that highlight above the cheekbone now look at that okay and that just gives a lifted effect too right there at the cheek and I go down my nose And also, like I said before, so I'm going to go, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go use the same highlighter. Just go up here and highlight that brow bone. So see the difference? That gives a more of a lifted look too. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with this Flora Photo, I'm probably not pronouncing it right, just with my finger, and pop that, see that? Pop that right there on that inner corner. Just a, an alerted look. Look at that. Okay. Ready? So now on to lip color. I think I got my 227 lip liner out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the 227 lip liner and Sunset Breeze. I like using this liner for everything. <laughs> Just even a natural look. I just love our lip liners. Okay, Sunset Breeze is the regular liquid matte lipstick. It is 08. Look at that. So this is a brown. It has just a little bit of a burnt orange effect. Just a real pretty fall color.
Okay, so this is the finished look. So the sunset in this eyeshadow palette, the yellow, the sunflower, um, and our peach pop palette, sunset breeze with 227 lip liner. So this is my mustard Yellowstone November look. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you have any questions, you know, shoot me a message. Um, if you are local, sometimes I keep products on hand, like this lipstick, I have it on hand right now. So anything you're interested, just shoot me a message. And as always, you can always check out my website. I'll put it in the links. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and God blesses you and keeps you safe. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.